Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Filecoin price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Filecoin chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We are also trying to break through our key area of resistance at around the $5.89 mark and a break above that I'll be watching for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up. We have also continued to obey the ADO12 structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement areas within this red target area down here and there are high chances that we have now bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 and all this is playing out after we have fully peaked in the formation of a larger ADU wave count 1 and that was after seeing a 5 wave structure to the upper side having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the $9.5 mark and also completing the formation of that larger ADU wave count 1 to the upper side and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also give you my target areas to the upper side in the formation of these larger ADU wave count 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a target area in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $16.069 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this wave 3 to the upper side to do and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that wave 3 I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side and it is this micro ADU wave count within the formation of that wave 3 that is going to give me the short term scenarios and I believe that is better seen here on the one hour chart so jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and to give you the short term scenarios here on the one hour chart you can see that after bottoming out within this red target area in the formation of this wave 2 we started this 5 wave structure to the upper side where we have now picked in the formation of this wave 5 and also completed the formation of that first wave to the upper side in a move that gave us a peak at around the $7.6 mark then we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that bottomed out within this blue target area and having seen the low for this second wave whatever we expected next was the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that wave 3 I'm now expecting another 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for this wave 3 to the upper side where you can see that on the charts we have now picked in that first wave also seen a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement areas which I have highlighted here on the charts using this red target area and there are high chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out a target area in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that now gives me a target area in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $6.456 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Filecoin to do here on the short term scenarios and for that move to also play out 
we need to see a break above the high at around the 5.89 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that we can either have a successful retest or maybe continue gearing up in a straight move to fully maximize our target areas at around the 6.452 dollar mark so that is what i'm expecting here on the filecoin chart so let's continue watching for a break above the significant high at around the 5.89 dollar mark because a break above that will trigger even higher prices to help us continue breaking through other key areas of resistances to fully maximize our target areas in the formation of that with three so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 70 mark here on the one hour chart and taking a look at the four hour rsi we are trading at around the 59 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated